those of you who don't know me, my name is Kimberly here at Kimberly TV. I make a variety of lifestyle videos and I would love for you to stick around and join me here in my YouTube family. Today I'll be doing a what's for dinner, but with a twist. I am trying recipes from Chrissy Teigen's Original Cravings Cookbook. I've had this book for a while, but I just haven't really explored it or get to test out recipes. So this week I picked out five recipes that I'm going to make and try along with you. So if you'd like to see what I made, please keep watching. pound of pasta. I'm cutting this recipe in approximately half. It calls for three cans of cream of mushroom and three cans of tuna. Obviously it's kind of hard to do one and a half cans. I mean I guess I could but I don't want to waste. So I'm going to do two. So everything's going to be approximately half. It, it says seven to eight minutes. I'm gonna leave it a little underdone just because it is gonna go in the oven, so I'll probably pop it in for about five. Okay, so I have my cooked pasta in here that I cooked for five minutes. So now it's basically super easy. It's basically dump and go. So I've never tried this recipe before, but it looks really, really good. And I love the fact that she adds a little bit of spice to it, but we'll see how it turns out. I don't remember if I said earlier, but it calls for frozen peas. I don't have it on hand, um, so I'm just gonna use frozen vegetables. So this is what it looks like with the topping on. I just crushed some jalapeno chips on top along with the cheddar cheese. Well, the Colby and cheddar. Sprinkle that on top and let's put it in the oven. Now this is going into a 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes or until it's bubbly and the top is golden brown. So earlier today I made those Trader Joe's maple pecan cookies that I showed in my last grocery haul. They kind of remind me of like the snowball cookies or the Mexican wedding cake, whatever you call them, they go from, by both names. But those are definitely a lot better than these. I mean, I wouldn't go out and buy another pack. They're not bad, I'm not gonna pretend I didn't eat like four of them already. But again, I wouldn't write home about it, but definitely try it out for yourself. And our casserole is still baking. We have five minutes. I just pulled the casserole out of the oven. You can see it's still a little bubbly and gooey. Word to the wise, about 10 minutes in, I started to smell some burning and I opened the oven and realized that some of my chips are starting to burn. So I picked off the, top, the ones that looked a little burnt and just put another layer of chips. The directions didn't say to bake it covered, but I would highly advise you bake it covered so you don't have as many burnt pieces as I do. But I'm very excited to dig into this and I'll let you know how it tastes. It is still piping hot guys, but I took a bite and it is so stinking good. So good first impression for my first ever tuna casserole. When I make this again, I think it is a little bit too cheddary for me. I love cheese, but cheddar is a little bit strong for me. 
So I might use a mild cheddar or just mix it in with another type of cheese that's a little bit more mild. Okay, so I would give this a seven out of 10. Good job, Chrissy. Hi guys, so tonight I am making Chrissy Teigen's Pad Grappau chicken or basil chicken. So I have my chicken marinating in some soy sauce and oyster sauce. So now I'm gonna add some oil to my wok. Sorry if I'm in front of you. Now I'm gonna add garlic and chilies to the pan. Now like with many of my other recipes, what I don't have on hand, I do substitute. So I didn't have any um, Thai chilies or Serrano chilies, so I just used the chilies I had in my garden. I'm gonna add that to the pan and let that heat up. smells delicious already. So like I said, I use the chilies from my garden. I believe they're called Cajun chilies. Hubby's not a fan of heat, so I put a tiny, tiny bit just to give it some flavor. Hopefully it's not too, too strong. So now I'm gonna turn up my heat to high, according to the direction. Crazy tie and add my chicken. So here goes nothing. So now you can see my chicken looks just about done, so she said to add the basil at this point. Again, I don't have that much basil because there wasn't much left in my garden at this point in the season, but I believe it should work. It'll at least release its flavors. Now, just because I'm laughing in the basil department, I'm going to add some dried basil. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that looks delicious. So I'm going to serve this over some fresh jasmine rice that I made in my rice cooker and that's what's for dinner tonight. This was probably my favorite meal. It was so simple and so flavorful. I will definitely be putting it in my rotation for dinners. Hello, hello. So tonight we are having salmon. So I liberally season my salmon fillets with salt and pepper. I have a mixture of Thai sweet chili sauce, sambal olik. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And just a touch of mustard mixed in there. I am going to heat up the sauce on my cast iron, put my salmon in, and then once it starts to cook, I'm going to pop it in the oven. And I'm also going to make some fried rice on the side, so I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, so this is how I do my quick version of fried rice. So I have some chopped ham here. I'm going to add that to my pan. I'm just going to get that heated through. Like I said, this is going to be my quick fried rice, so I'm just going to add some frozen veggies. And heat that through with the ham. I don't know if you could see, but I just pulled my salmon out of the oven. There's a tiny bit missing because I just wanted to make sure the center was cooked, but look how delicious that looks. The sauce kind of dried up and caramelized, so I may just put a little bit more on top but we'll let that rest while I finish my fried rice. Now that the ham is starting to get color, maybe a little too much color, but it's okay. I am going to 
turn down the heat just a touch. Add in an egg. And scramble that up. Okay, so now that my egg is cooked through and my vegetables and ham are heated through, I'm just gonna add some leftover rice I had. I'm gonna add a splash of soy and a splash of mirin and mix that in. Okay, so this is what's for dinner tonight. We have our homemade quick fried rice and our salmon. Bon appetit. So today I'll be trying Chrissy's Chipotle honey chicken. I had my chicken, I'm using chicken breast for this recipe, but I had it marinating in the marinade overnight. So now I'm gonna pop it in the oven. So I made my roux, so now I'm just gonna add some milk. I have it coming back up to a soft boil, so I'm going to add my cheese. A handful at a time. I want that melt in. I have my heat on low right now. I don't know if I said earlier, but I am using a mixture of cheddar and Swiss cheese. The recipe called for either Swiss or Gruyere. Um, my grocery store did not have Gruyere, so I just picked up some Swiss. Okay, I'm gonna slowly whisk this in and then I will add in my pasta. So my mac and cheese is ready to go into the oven. I topped it with some seasoned breadcrumbs and I'm gonna place it in the oven. I just pulled my chicken out and it looks so good. So I'll see you when everything's done. This is the mac and cheese fresh out of the oven, nice and bubbly. It was delicious, definitely will make this again. So I am just putting some vegetable oil in my hot pan. So now I am just going to cook a scrambled egg. Now that my eggs are cooked, I am going to remove them from the pan. And in the same pot, I'm going to add a little bit more oil and add my seasoned chicken and cook through. Once my chicken is cooked through, I remove it from the pan and add it in the same plate as the eggs and set aside. I then add some mushrooms and broccoli and I believe chicken broth in the pot and I saute this until the vegetables are tender. While my vegetables were cooking, I cooked up some rice noodles. This isn't the exact rice noodles that Chrissy called for in the recipe, but I just used what I had on hand. I used some bihon, which is what Filipinos use to make pancit. I then added in my sauce and now I am tossing everything together and then I'm gonna just let that heat through for a few more minutes. Once everything heated through and the flavors melted together, you serve it up. This was delicious and I definitely will be making it super easy and full of flavor. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this week's What's for Dinner. I really enjoyed Chrissy's recipes. They were full of flavor and for the most part pretty easy, at least the ones I picked out. 
but they were comforting and homey and I really think you'd enjoy them. So if you'd like to see more What's For Dinners, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't miss another video. Bye guys.